What's going on everybody, MonkeyDo22 here for another help, tip, trick, and tutorial video. In this video today, I'm going to show you guys how to farm coins in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. So why would you farm coins? Well, I mean, if you're like me, you played the heck out of Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U, you collected all those coins, you got all those cool accessories for your carts, but maybe you just don't want to go through all the collecting process again to get all those coins. Uh, you know, it's a pain in the butt, you know, especially if you don't have all the time in the world and you just want to race online and you want to actually be competitive. Well, I'm going to show you right here real quick, uh, before we do this, that I have 2,015 coins. So by the end of each single race here, I'm going to keep collecting another 10 coins, another 10 coins, another 10 coins, without actually having to do any work whatsoever. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that here. The way we're going to do it is we're going to go to multiplayer and we're going to go to a two-player race. If you do a third player or a four player race, um, you're only going to get the 10 coins because it's only going to count it for player one. Um, so that's all you're going to get the credit for. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pick the versus race here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select what is controller one and controller two. Right now, pro controller is player one and Joy-Con left is player two. So now that we have those set up, I'm going to hit the A button to continue here and we're going to pick your racer. It really doesn't matter who you pick as your racer. It doesn't matter who you pick for your accessories or anything like that. Uh, but these are all the different cool items that you can get over time uh, just by uh, collecting coins. Um, I find, you know, doing this trick is super quick and easy. And of course, like I said, it doesn't matter at all what you pick. So I'm just going to hit A on that. And we got Luigi here. So now we're going to come to the race selection screen. So you can either do 200 cc's, 50, 100, 150, or mirror race. I find that doing the 200cc is the quickest way to do this because the engines are faster, everything else is just moving along so quickly, as you'll find out. Uh, but we don't need any team's items, we just want to do normal items. I mean, it really doesn't matter what you pick, but just do not do uh, no items or coins or no items. You have to at least have the items on, and more specifically coins, because obviously that's what we're going for. So we'll do normal items, you want to pick no computer players, not easy, not normal, not hard, no computers. And then vehicles, it doesn't matter because, uh, of course, there's no computers. Courses, you want to go ahead and choose these. And the race count, you can do anything from 48 to 4. It's entirely up to you, however long you want to keep doing this trick over and over. Uh, I'm going to do 48 and I'm going to hit A for OK. Now you're going to come to the course selection screen. You want to go to the bell cup, which is the lower right one here and then you want to hit A and do the big blue. Now there's a specific reason that we do big blue, but as you'll notice, I'm not going to touch the controllers for the rest of this video. It's going to be right here. So basically in big blue, as you're going to find out, I'm just going to go ahead and skip ahead so we don't have to see that cutscene. But basically on the left hand side of the track and on the right hand side of the track, if you remember in the F-Zero video games, it was kind of like the energy builder. So you'd build up your shields if like you'd crash into a wall or something. In Mario Kart 8 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, when you run over it, as you see right here, boom, you collect coins. And that's it. Already, within the first 10 seconds of doing this race, we have 10 coins. And since basically you have this auto drive assist and auto acceleration assist on right here, which is really meant for younger kids or people who can't handle Rainbow Road, um, basically, you don't even have to touch the controllers. It does the work for you. You can literally just sit there in the background where you're playing something else and you'll just be collecting coins. And I did the timing on this. On Big Blue, I found this to be uh, two minutes long, every single race. Because in Big Blue, there is no laps. It's all sectioned off, just like the, uh, the new Rainbow Road, as well as the, the redesigned Rainbow Road from Nintendo 64 on the Nintendo Switch and the Wii U versions of Mario Kart 8. Um, so that's why it only takes two minutes. It's only the one lap, essentially. And uh, that's pretty much it. So if you do more than one character, like I said, it's only going to count the coins for player one, um, which is kind of unfortunate, but at the same time, I mean, well, I mean, let's face it, this is a cheese anyway. This is not something that's being legitimately done. But at the same time, you know, I totally understand people want to actually be able to use the accessories and they don't have the time of day to really do it. Uh, but if you kind of, you know, if you have some time to do this in the background, because, you know, hey, the Nintendo Switch is portable, you can take it anywhere, and if you really wanted to, you could just use the two Joy-Cons right here. You don't need a Pro Controller. You can use the ones that you already have. So there you go. Uh, quick and easy way to do this. Uh, looks like we're just about at the end of the track here. Looks like Luigi is going to take home the victory. 
He's even got the mushroom there. I'll just go ahead and hit this button to push it along. Get him going, get him going quicker, and I may have even screwed him up. Nope, nope, he's still gonna get there. All right, so Luigi's gonna take first place, Mario's gonna take second place, and as soon as this is done, I will go ahead and show you uh, what else um, can be done as far as seeing what the different kind of coins you have and the different accessories. And here comes Mario coming around the track and zips through the finish line, boom, done. All right, so as you notice, it really didn't hit the controllers at all because of the way that the game works. It just automatically happens. If this setting for some reason was not enabled for you, it's enabled by default, but if you just hit the menu button, it brings up the um, options menu where you can turn on the um, steering assist as well as acceleration assist. So we're gonna hit A because we're done with that. And from here, you can he either hit A to go to the next race where it'll bring you back up to the race selection screen or you can quit out. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like here. Uh, so if we go to the next race, you'll see some options. And you basically just wanna hit bell cup and big blue again, and there you go. You don't even have to pick the racers, you don't have to pick the card accessories, nothing, away you go. But if you wanna quit out, as soon as you quit out, you're gonna be able to see all the coins that you've accrued. Uh, don't ever quit out of the game, force quit it or anything like that, because you won't get them. You have to actually quit out in order to see them. But once you go down here to play stats, you'll see, boom, 2025. I had 2015 when I started, now we're at 2025. So that's it, quick, simple, and easy. And you can keep doing this in the background while you're working, while you're doing homework, while you're doing something like that. You know, every two minutes, just take a look, just pass along, and there you go. The way Mario Kart 8, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe works is usually it's every 50 coins, uh, you get a new item. And at a certain point, I believe it's once you get to 1,000, it's every 100 coins after that you get it. So it does take some time to do it, but this is just another option uh, in case that you don't have the time of day to really sit down and do all those races. And you kind of just wanna let it do its own thing. So with that said, if you have any questions about this video or any of the steps to do them, uh, be sure to leave it in the comments section and below. I'd be happy to answer those as quickly as I possibly can, uh, as well as I do have other members of uh, the community, uh, Xbox community, Nintendo community that also respond uh, to those comments. You might see a reply from them as well. Uh, but if you would like to see more tips, tricks, videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave me a thumbs up and like this video. Share it with your friends who may also want to be doing this uh, uh, glitch as well. And not really a glitch, but you know, may want to farm some coins as well. And uh, with that said, I'm MonkeyDo22. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.